All right, brothers and sisters, today is another bright new day that the Lord has made. And we are going to rejoice and be glad in it as we study His Word. And in today's Bible lesson, we are going to be answering this one very baffling question which is always asked by many people, especially those who don't believe in the faith. Many of them, they ask, is Jesus real? Is Jesus real? So that's what we're going to be answering today. And um, I hope you're in a comfortable seat. Hope you, you're ready to hear this. Let's get started. So now, friends, we have to understand one thing, that Jesus is a real person. He's one of the most complicated, discussed, revered of historical figures. And most scholars, both Christian and non-Christian, and even secular alike, they believe that there was a historical Jesus. That's, that's true, absolute. And the evidence is overwhelming. Jesus was written about in ancient historians, including Josephus and Tacitus. From an historical standpoint, there is hardly any question. <laughs> This is very true because there, are re there was really a man named Jesus who lived in the first century Israel. If you just go to the, even in the history books, you will see that. And the Old Testament predicted the Messiah, a real person who would deliver Israel from their enemies, a real person. The Messiah was one to be born in Je uh, Bethlehem. Remember in Micah 5 verse 2, it says, But thou Bethlehem, Ephrata, Ephrata, thou, thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me, that is, to be ruler in Israel, whose going forth have been from old, from everlasting. So, he was to be born in Bethlehem. And not only in Bethlehem, but from the tribe of David. Genesis 49 verse 10. The scepter shall not depart from Judah. You see? The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between uh, his feet, until Shiloh come, and unto him shall the gathering of the people be. So he would be from the tribe of David. And also he was to be a prophet akin to Moses. A prophet akin to Moses. The Bible says, I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren. And... Uh, like, un, uh, uh, like unto thee and I will put my words in his mouth and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him mm -hmm. also another thing we understand that uh, Jesus will be a herald of good news he'll be carrying good news the Bible says in Isaiah 61 verse 1, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. And finally, we see that Jesus would come as a healer of maladies, any kind of disease, the book of Isaiah 35 verse 5 to 6 prophesied this. It says, Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Then shall the lame man leap as an heart, and the tongue of the dumb shall sing. For in the wilderness shall waters break out, and the streams, and streams in the desert. You see? So now you understand, on a Bible perspective, that there was truly... A man, a man, literal man called Jesus who was being expected. And the Messiah will be a godly servant who suffered before entering his glory. This, this we, have, we have read over and over in the book of Isaiah 53 talking about that. So having said that, we understand that Jesus is the real person who really fulfilled these prophecies. And the New Testament contains hundreds of references to Jesus Christ as a real person. The earliest gospel may have been written within perhaps maybe 10 years of Jesus' death. And the earliest of Paul's epistles was written about 25 years after Jesus' death. And this is important because it means that uh, 
As the Gospels were circulating, there were plenty of eyewitnesses still alive who could verify the truth of the Gospel uh, of, of these accounts. Yes, there, there are so many witnesses who could verify this. Think about uh, what the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 15 verse 6. The Bible says, After that, he was seen above 500 brethren at once, of whom the greater part remains unto this present, but some are fallen asleep. You see? So there was a big crowd of witnesses who saw Jesus after he rose again. And the manuscript evidence for the authenticity of New Testament is overwhelming. About, we can say, 25,000 early manuscripts of the New Testament. In comparison, the Gallic Wars written by Caesar in the 1st century BC only has about 10 manuscripts and existing and the earliest one of those was written about a thousand years after the original on a similar account aristotle's poetics only has five early manuscripts in existence dating about 1400 years after the original so those who doubt that Jesus is real must also question the existence of Julius Caesar and uh, Aristotle. Because outside the Bible, Jesus is mentioned in the Quran and the writings of Judaism and Gnosticism and Hinduism. Early historians considered Jesus to be real. And the first century also, the first century Roman historians, that is, uh, Tacitus, he also mentioned... Uh, the, the followers of Jesus in his in his writings, Flavius Joseph, Asians, Jewish historians, they all refer to Christ in his antiquities of the Jews. Still not believing yet? Okay. Other references to Jesus uh, which exist in the writing you can check the writings of uh, Suetonius, the chief secretary to Emperor uh, Hadrian, Julius Africanus, quoting the historian Thales, Lucian of Samosata, a second uh, century Greek writer, Pliny the Younger, and Mara Barserapion. All those people. And no other historical figure has had much impact on the world as Jesus Christ, whether one, someone decides to use B.C. to mean before Christ or B.C.E., before common era, the whole Western dating system is measured from one event, the birth of Jesus, who was a real person. In the name of Jesus, many orphanages, hospitals, clinics, schools, universities, homeless shelters, emergency relief, agencies and other charitable organizations have been founded in that name and millions of people can give personal testimonies of Jesus continuing work in their own lives so whether you like it or not there is an overwhelming evidence that Jesus is real both in secular and biblical history perhaps the greatest evidence that Jesus existed is, and that he, he did what the Bible says is he did the testimony of the early church. He, he built a testimony in that early church. Those people, think about them. Think about the early church. Literally thousands of Christians in the first century, including the 12 apostles, were willing to give their lives as martyrs for the gospel of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Come on, guys. People will, will die for what they believe to be true. No one will die for what they know is, is a lie. Who will... Who will shed, lay his life to be, to be killed, beheaded for something that you don't believe? We, we are called to have faith, not to have a blind faith in a make-believe story, but genuine faith in a genuine person who lived in a real place, in a real-time history. This man who proved his divine origin through the signs that he performed and the prophecies that he fulfilled 
And remember, he died on a Roman cross, was buried in a Jewish tomb, and rose again for our justification. Jesus is real. The Bible tells us in John 20 verse 29, Blessed are those who have not seen, and yet they have believed. Yet they have believed. And that's the end of today's Bible lesson. Hope it was a blessing to you. And I hope to see you soon in the next one. Make sure you always come for more and check out for more. God bless you.